Hey City Kids, welcome back. We are on week two of our series called Courage. Today we will be looking at the story of Esther and how God gave her the courage to face her fear and save her people, which is amazing. But before we do that, we're going to stand up and we're going to do some praise and worship. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. to show
enjoyed that praise and worship time. I hope you got up and you jumped and you danced and you had fun praising God because we can have fun worshiping Him and praising Him wherever we are um, and I hope you had a ton of fun just like I did. Um, today we are learning about Queen Esther and how she faced her fear and she saved her people um, but first, I want to look at our scripture. It is in Psalm 56, verse 3. It says, 
when I'm afraid, and we do this, so it goes, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Um, I want you guys to remember that. You'll see it in the message video, and then we'll do it at the end again. And then the point of today's lesson, I want you to remember, take note of it. It says, God gives me the courage to face fear. I don't know, in this time, I think we are all facing fears. Um, we all have things we are worrying about. You might be thinking, will we ever get back to school? Will we ever see our friends? Will life ever be normal? Um, but God is assuring and He is with us and He cares about us and it will go back to normal. Um, but just know that you can have um, faith in Him and what He is doing and that He is with you no matter what. If you're scared or worried or anxious, God is with you. So take a listen to our message video and we'll see you right after. It's really raining hard out there. I thought you were off tonight. I'm covering the night shift since Mike is sick. Yeah, I saw him earlier today. He was pretty dehydrated and had a sore throat. He sounded awful. Poor guy. He gave me a list of things he needs, but I can't figure this one out. This one here. Does that say children's swap? Chunky soap? Chiplin' chipkin? Chicken soup. Oh, wow. Mike is a solid food type of guy. He must really be sick if he's asking for soup. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live, live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. The storm has caused some power surges and one of them took down our communicator system. Maurice from the Tech and Tools group is working on it, but our communication system is down for the time being. So we have no way of communicating with each other? I guess not. What is that old-fashioned gadget over there? I think it's a phone. A phone? Phones don't look like that. It doesn't even have a screen. I do not like things that I don't recognize. It's like it knew we were talking about it. Answer it. I'm not going to touch that thing. You answer it. I'm not going to answer it. What if it's a stranger calling? Maybe it'll stop. See, probably just a wrong number. Looks like it's plugged in. So all we have to do is unplug it. I'm not touching that thing. Well, I'm not going to touch it. Unplug it. No, you. Ah! Oh! Ah! oh, hey, Maurice. Oh, just uh, working on the communicators. Everything's a little fuzzy because of the power surges. Can you unplug that thing? It's got us a little on edge. Just a phone. Nothing scary about a phone. <laughs> okay, that one got me a little bit. It's a message from the field office in Nashville. Oh. Howdy, HQ. This is my new friend, Emily. We've been sitting here shooting the breeze, and she was saying, well, why don't I let her tell you instead of me sitting here jawing like a toothless cougar chewing gum? Hey, y'all. I have to give a presentation for my entire class at school. And I'm terrified. Never talked in front of the whole class. What should I do? I'm scared. Sound like a real head scratcher. Why don't y'all see what you can do up there at Connect HQ and thank you kindly. 
She was brave enough to ask us her question. Surely we can help her find the courage to make her presentation. Do you think we can solve this one on our own? Just the two of us? We can always ask for help if we get stuck. And if this phone goes full-blown Twilight Zone, don't face it on your own. <laughs> ask for help. God has the courage. Thanks, Maurice. I'll go look for a Bible link. You can't leave me alone with this thing. It's just a phone. I guess you're right. I'll be right back. No, 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 no. Emily is afraid to speak in front of her class, so I'll do a verse search on the word afraid and see what comes up. Hmm. This one looks good. Psalm 56, 3. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. I think be afraid of Harper. It's just a phone. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Hello? Ah! Nothing but a dial tone now. You said it was a raspy voice? I don't know what it wanted. It made a horrible monster noise. Hmm. Could be a local prankster or a hooligan just trying to get your goose. If they call again, I can trace the call and see what comes up. I tried really hard not to be afraid. Courage isn't about being unafraid. Everyone has fear, even me. I'm afraid of falling asleep on the bus and waking up in the bus barn. <sighs> but God gives me the courage to still ride the bus. That's a great point that could help Emily with her classroom fear. God gives me courage to face fear. Point link acquired. Glad I could help. Maurice, out. Any luck finding a first link? I think so. How about this? Psalm 56, 3. Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid. When I am afraid. I put my trust in you. I put my trust in you. Great verse link. Nice and simple. The verse link is Psalm 56, 3. Verse link acquired. It's just a phone, it's just a phone. Nothing to be afraid of. Harper! Ah, it knew my name! Calm down, Maurice will trace the call and figure out who it is. I'm really scared. Just like Esther. Who? Queen Esther from the Bible link I found. Here, why don't we watch this to keep our minds distracted while Maurice traces the call? It might help. Okay. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Oh, the story of how much he loves me Let him blow up all the pages, let the show go on Let his word explode from this video into your life Esther was the queen of Persia. Even her husband, King Xerxes, didn't know her secret. Esther was Jewish. Esther's uncle Mordecai worked at the palace and looked out for her. Xerxes' advisor, Haman, received a great reward. He was very proud. Everyone except Mordecai bowed down to him. Haman was insulted. He vowed to kill Mordecai and all the Jews. Haman told Xerxes that the Jews were dangerous and should die. Xerxes agreed and set a day to kill them. Mordecai was terrified and sent a message to Queen Esther. Change the king's mind, said Mordecai. If I go to him without his invitation, he can have me killed, Esther replied. Perhaps you were made queen just for this moment, said Mordecai. Esther bravely agreed to try. She went to the throne room. 
King Xerxes was amazed by her beauty and invited her in. Can we have dinner with Haman? she asked. Haman was building a big gallows in his backyard. He planned to hang Mordecai on it. Then the king's invitation arrived, so Haman went to the palace for dinner. A man wants to kill me and my people, the Jews, Esther told Xerxes. Kill the Jews? cried the king. That man is you, Haman. Guards, put him to death. So Haman was hanged on the gallows he'd built for Mordecai. Because of Esther, the Jews were saved. They celebrated with a great feast, which they observe to this day. Esther could have been killed for going to the king without an invitation, but she was brave. She knew God would give her courage no matter what. Thanks, Nick. Emily can have courage with her presentation, and I can have courage with this phone, even when we are afraid. Even so, I am not answering that thing again. I'll do it. Nick, it's Maurice. It's only Maurice. That's a relief. I traced the call. It's coming from inside Connect HQ. It's coming from inside Connect HQ. That's not a relief at all. Oh my gosh. OK, the lights are off. There's nothing to be scared of. Okay, there's a stranger in the doorway. We can be scared now! But I'm afraid I put my trust in you. So... I don't know who you are, but you don't scare us. God gives me courage. So... It's Mike. This whole time, it's just been Mike. Yeah, but why was he wailing like that? Oh! Oh, this storm is scary. <laughs> I've been calling. I know. It's not funny. It's just that we were scared for no reason. Come on. Let's get you back to bed, buddy. But soap. I know. I can't believe we were so scared of Mike. When we came face to face with the thing that scared us, we found out that it really wasn't that scary. Limit link uploaded. When we're scared, we can always remember this. God gives me courage to face fear. Point link uploaded. We can be brave like Esther. The Bible link is the brave and beautiful queen. Bible link uploaded. Let's say the verse together. Psalm 56.3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. First link uploaded. We did it, just the two of us. I'll get it. Hello? Soup. You got soup. it, buddy. Mike is still looking for that soup. On it. Wow, that HQ's faster than a jackrabbit in a sports car. There's your answer. Hey, Emily, my name is Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Psalms. Psalms 56, three. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Everybody gets scared, but we can put our trust in God and do what we need to do, even when we're afraid. In the Bible, Queen Esther did a very risky thing by talking to the king without invitation. But she was brave because she trusted God would give her courage. And he helped her save her people. Tonight, we found out that the thing that scared us the most was really not that scary at all. All we had to do was trust that God was in control. Speaking in front of your class might seem like the scariest thing in the world right now. But trust that God will be there. Before you get up in front of your class, Remind yourself, God gives me courage to face fear. Thanks, Emily. Good luck on your presentation. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thanks, y'all. As followers of Jesus, we can put our trust in God when we're afraid. 
and he'll give us the courage to face our fears. If you want to choose to follow Jesus and live with courage, all you have to remember are the A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Hey guys, that was a super cool message video um, about Esther and what she did and all the courage God gave her to go to the king who was a very powerful man at the time and to ask him a huge favor. Uh, and God came through and God saved her people and he did all of that through Esther. And um, so I want to give you guys some encouragement today and um, that you will listen to this video and pray for courage when you're facing your fears, no matter what they are, um, and that you can go and pray about that. And God hears you and he sees you. Um, so just be encouraged today and remember that God is for you and God loves you. Um, can you guys remember our scripture? In Psalm 56 verse 3, it says, um, When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Do you have that? Did you get that? Okay, cool. And the point of the message, can you guys remember it? It says, God gives me the courage to face fear. With God on your side, you can do anything. Um, I think that is what we should take away from this message today um, and from this whole series. Um, and that we can be courageous and we can be strong. Let's close in prayer. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Do not poke. Do not laugh. Do not pick your nose. Okay? Okay, let's close our eyes. Thank you, Lord, um, for this lesson today. Thank you for the story of Esther. Thank you that you give us your word to learn from and to um, get encouragement and wisdom from. We thank you that we can do this even in our own homes and that you are teaching us and you are guiding us um, even at home and that we don't have to be together in a building on Sunday, um, but that you can teach us in any situation, Lord. Thank you that you give us the courage to face our fears. Lord, I pray for any fears that people may have and families may have and children may have, that you would just help them through that. Um, and we just pray for the rest of the week. May you be with us. May you protect us. Um, we love you, Lord. And all God's children said, Amen. See you next week, guys. Bye.